Hello and welcome to our special broadcast tracking COVID and in the next half an hour we'll get you all the news and updates from across the country as far as uh, COVID updates are concerned and also from across the world. I'm Nancy Kohli, first to look at the top stories. Prime Minister Narendra Modi pays homage to Veer Savarkar on his birth anniversary today, remembers his valuable contributions to the nation and freedom struggle. 86,110 active COVID-19 cases in the country, 67,691 persons have recovered completely, while 4,531 fatalities recorded so far. The Cabinet Secretary to hold a video conference with the, all the states and the Union Territories on the issue of public health responses to COVID-19. CBSE is to allow students of class 10th and 12th to appear for the pending board examinations from the centres in the home districts, relief to students who have moved to different states or districts due to lockdown. Shramik trains continue to take the migrant workers home on the mission back home. Almost 48 lakh passengers transported in over 3,600 trains. Government of India's One Day Bharat mission continues to bring back stranded Indian nationals from abroad, from Tajikistan, Japan and Australia. The Government of India extends the humanitarian assistance to nations in South Indian Ocean through Mission Sagar. Indian naval ship Kesari arrives in Madagascar carrying medical supplies. The global battle against COVID-19 continues. The confirmed cases cross 56 lakh in 93,000, 3 lakh 55,000 fatalities the world over. U.S. continues to be worst hit with over 16 lakh cases. Brazil takes the second spot. WHO turns to non-traditional funding sources as it creates foundation to boost funding in the fight against COVID-19. Our top story will get you all the corona updates from across the country and the world. But first up, today is the birth anniversary of eminent freedom fighter Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. He fought relentlessly against the British and spent a long period in the cellular jail. Savarkar wrote the history of India's first war of independence of 1857. Paying tributes to Veer Savarkar on his birth anniversary, the Prime Minister has said, and I quote, I bow to the courageous Veer Savarkar. We remember him for his bravery, motivating several others to join the freedom struggle and the emphasis on social reform, unquote. And let's now move on, get you updates from uh, the country first in our segment Ground Zero. And first up, we're taking a look at the latest updates in the COVID-19 situation from across the country. And according to Health and Family Welfare Ministry, 86,110 active cases have been registered across the nation. A total of 67,691 people affected with COVID-19 have been cured and discharged, while 4,531 people have lost their lives due to COVID-19. Now, the Cabinet Secretary will uh, today be holding a video conference with the, all the states and the Union Territories on the issue of public health response to COVID-19. The Chief Secretaries and the Principal Secretaries Health of the states concerned will also attend the meeting. The District Magistrates and the Collectors of the Districts concerned will also be joining in the meeting. In some other news now, students who have moved to a different state or district during lockdown can now appear for the pending board examinations there itself. 
It comes as a huge relief to students appearing for the pending class 10th and 12th examinations conducted by the CBSE from the 1st of July this year. The Human Resources Development Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank has said that the students need to inform their schools regarding their choice for district for appearing in the board examinations. The minister said that the CBSE will announce the modalities of registration for such requests. सीबीएसई बोर्ड ने यह निर्णय लिया है कि जो छात्र अब जिस जनपद में जहां पर है उसको अपने संबंधित स्कूल को सूचना देनी पड़ेगी कि वो उस जनपद में है और उसको उसी जनपद में परीक्षा देने की अनुमति दी जाए तो आप अपना जल्दी से जल्दी आप जिस जनपद में हैं अपने स्कूल को बताइए और बताइए कि आप वहीं पर परीक्षा देने वाले हैं देना चाहते हैं तो सीबीएसई बोर्ड ये कोशिश कर रहा है कि हर हालत में आपकी सुविधा के अनुसार उसी जनपद में आपको परीक्षा देने की अनुमति होगी जून के प्रथम सप्ताह में आपको अपने स्कूलों से लगातार संबंध करना पड़ेगा The Indian Railways has operationalized over 3,600 Shramik special trains so far across the country. More than 48 lakh passengers have been transported to their home states through Shramik special trains in 26 days. On the 26th of May, 255 Shramik specials were run. The top five states or the Union territories from where the maximum trains originated were Gujarat with 946 trains, Maharashtra with 677 trains, Punjab with 377 trains, Uttar Pradesh with 243 trains and Bihar with 215 trains. The IRCTC has distributed more than 78 lakh free meals and more than 1.1 crore water bottles to travelling migrants. In addition to the Shramik specials, railways are running 15 pairs of special trains connecting New Delhi from the 12th of May and plan to start 200 more timetable trains on the 1st of June. The Government of India is working tenaciously to bring back stranded Indians from abroad under its ongoing Vande Bharat mission. Under this mission, a flight carrying 223 Indian nationals left Japan this morning. This is the first repatriation flight of Vande Bharat mission from Japan. The Indian ambassador to Japan, Sanjay Kumar Varma, and other embassy officials interacted with the passengers of the Air India Tokyo Mumbai repatriation flight. I would like to thank uh, the Minister of External Affairs, all other stakeholders in the government of India for having granted permission to stranded Indian nationals in Japan to proceed home following all the regulations which have been laid down by various uh, uh, stakeholders uh, in the state government and the, and the central government. I also want to thank the Fusli uh, Air India Management which has been able to provide us with, uh, with uh, flying assets, which will take uh, our fellow Indian nationals home. I'm very thankful to the government of Japan, uh, who have readily agreed to provide us all the support required in such a difficult time of pandemic uh, to assist the stranded Indian nationals in Japan to go back to their destinations. And another Air India flight under the Vande Bharat mission took off from Melbourne to Hyderabad this morning. The flight is carrying 214 stranded Indian nationals from Australia. This is the seventh special flight from Australia under the Vande Bharat mission. And earlier, an Air India flight carrying 237 Indian nationals took off from France for Kochi via Bengaluru. The passengers expressed happiness over their evacuation and thanked the government of India for the noble initiative and expressed their gratitude towards the officials and the authorities. The Indian embassy officials were also present at the airport to facilitate the Indian passengers traveling back to their homes safely. Now, the Indian naval ship Kesari arrived in Madagascar on Wednesday carrying medical supplies. As part of the mission Sagar, the government has sent INS Kesari to five nations in the South Indian Ocean, including Maldives, Mauritius, Madagascar, Comoros and Seychelles. This ship is delivering essential food items, medicine and supply, and assistance in the wake of COVID crisis in response to the request for assistance from these countries. 
This is inspired by Prime Minister's vision of Sagar that security and growth for all in the region. This is also in keeping with India's role as a first responder in the region. INS Kesuri has already successfully delivered food aid uh, uh, first to Maldives and then to Mauritius. The gesture has been widely appreciated by the people of these receiving countries. And uh, news now from back home in West Bengal, uh, the domestic flights has resumed this morning and the state government on Tuesday had issued guidelines for domestic air travel. The West Bengal government had recently come up with a set of guidelines for people arriving in the state in the domestic flights. According to that, those entering the state must submit a self-declaration form stating that they had not tested positive for COVID-19 in the past two months. The passengers will also need to undergo health screening after they arrive at the airport and the asymptomatic passengers will be permitted to go with the advice that they shall self-monitor their health for 14 days. In case they develop any symptom, they shall inform the local medical officer or the state call center. And let's now move on to our next segment, get you ground reports uh, that have a feel-good factor that show hope and positivity still live on in these distressing times. Now, there are several, uh, in fact, horticultural produce in Bihar that gives good income to the farmers. The Shahi Lichi, or special a speciality of the North Bihar uh, district of Muzaffarpur, which earned the GI tag a, a couple of years ago, stands apart from other varieties. During the lockdown, Lichi cultivators have faced problem to carry their produce to the market. In this bid, Bihar government along with the postal circle are all set to deliver Shahi Lichi and Zardalu mango through online booking at the doorstep of people in the state. Let's take a look at this report. The Shahi Lichi of Muzaffarpur and Zardalu Mango of Bhagalpur are special varieties of fruits known for its unique taste. The yield of both these fruits has turned up quite well. However, due to lockdown, lychee cultivators have been finding it difficult to carry their produce to the markets. In view of this, the state government has tied up with Bihar Postal Circle to deliver lychee and mangoes for people at doorstep. Shahi Lichi and Zardalu mangoes are being delivered to people at doorsteps. The online orders for both the fruits can now be placed on the website of the department. Bihar Postal Circle has started its online booking. Till now, order for 4,400 kilograms of lychee has been placed on website. This may go up to 1 lakh kgs during the season. Order for mangoes will start in last week of May. On the other hand, in East Champaran, lychee can now be sold outside the district, for which the administration will issue special passes for the fruit sellers. District Magistrate Kapil Ashok said that efforts are being made to resolve the problems caused to lychee cultivators due to spread of coronavirus. Apart from this, he said that government will give 50% grant for setting up a lychee processing plant. With inputs from Alok Kumar, Bureau Report, DD India. And amidst the fight against COVID-19, the Maharashtra government and the state agriculture department has taken a unique initiative, under which seeds, fertilizers and other farming-related items are being directly provided to farmers at their farmlands. Many farmers in the Yavatmal district of Maharashtra have already benefited from the scheme. Industries and agriculture have been badly hit due to COVID-19-induced lockdown. Monsoon season is just around the corner and that is why farmers are busy these days to store resources required for the Kharif produce. If shops are allowed to open for a limited period, it would be difficult to ensure social distancing. Considering this, the Maharashtra government has decided to ensure smooth availability of seeds, fertilizers, pesticides, etc. directly at farmlands. This initiative is being implemented successfully in Yavatmal district of the state. कोरोना प्रतिबंधक उपाय योजना मनुन कृषि केंद्रावर गर्दी हुआ उन्हें मनुन शेष करंचा शेताचा बांधावर To ensure less people at कृषि केंद्रस, we have decided to provide seeds and fertilizers directly at farmlands. कृषि helpers have also been deployed at various places for assistance. Besides, all provisional agriculture centers have been asked to pitch in. Sanitization आणि सर्व योजना कृषि केंद्रस सालकानी ठेवाय आशे सूचना देने ताले लाय. 
Vehicles of Agricultural Department daily deliver required items at farmlands. Till now, around 87 quintal of seeds and 70 metric ton fertilizers have been delivered in the Degras Tehsil of Yavatmala district. Many farmers thank government for helping them in this time of crisis. This initiative does not only save time for farmers, but also ensure good quality resources right at the place where they need it the most. Bureau Report, DD India. After a long locked down period, the public parks are back to life in Jaipur. Vishal Barristo brings you this ground report. After two months of lockdown, finally the public parks are open and I can see some youngsters, they are very happy exercising their way into the park. Let's talk to them and find out. What's your name? Vanshika. Vanshika, how do you feel? First of all, I can see a smile on your face. <laughs> yes, it's amazing that uh, parks are open. Now we can come out and exercise or breathe some fresh air. So it feels amazing. Feels amazing and why not? It's a fresh air. So how's the feeling with you? It's a great feeling and now we are getting fresh air. So there you see, uh, these people, they are uh, exercising, they are stretching and they are enjoying themselves and why not because uh, the lush green public garden and this is all we want, fresh air to drive out all the depression. Vishal Beristo for DD India, Jaipur. And after Karnataka government's green signal, the shooting for Kannada TV serials have started but with less than 20 members in the crew and said should be an indoor location. The government has also allowed work to resume with precondition and mask is a must for all on the sets. The show must go on. This is the mantra often followed by entertainment industry and this mantra has taken the industry to a greater height. Now the Karnataka government has given green signal to the television serials to resume shooting in the state. As a result, shooting resumed at the Ramji studio in Bangalore where artists returned to work after several days of no work. The government has also laid down several conditions. Only 20 member crew can report for shooting, whereas a television serial shooting requires more than 100 members. But the producers and directors have agreed to the conditions and resume work with only 20 crew members on the sets. Wearing of mask is also compulsory. Now, whether the mask is part of the script or not, but they have to wear mask during this crisis to avoid the spread of COVID-19. As several artists return to work, they are happy and thrilled that Karnataka government has given them this relaxation. Asha Khanam, DD India, Bangalore. And let's now move on, take a look at the global developments on COVID-19 in World Wrap. And uh, the overall uh, uh, number of global coronavirus cases has surged to over 56,95,000, while the death toll due to COVID-19 has gone up to more than 3.55 lakh. The global tally of COVID-19 patients has risen to 56,95,155 as per the latest data, with the de death toll rising to 3,55,688. As many as 23,51,177 people have also recovered from the virus. And as the world is reeling under the COVID-19 threat, the U.S. has reached a grim milestone as the death toll there has exceeded 1 lakh. The U.S. has so far registered more than 16,99,933 cases of infection. The urban areas, especially New York, are among the hardest hit where funeral houses have become chaotic and overwhelmed. The city has alone so far registered more than 29,484 deaths with elderly disproportionately hit. And the world's number two epicenter, Sao Paulo in Brazil, is set to enter the phase two of the state's reopening plan under which malls and street shops will be allowed to reopen in the city for 15 days as of 1st of June. The relaxation will also allow the real estate operate, operations and other businesses to operate with restrictions. Nationally, Brazil has confirmed more than 4,11,820 COVID-19 cases and the death toll has reached above 25,590. It has the second highest number of COVID-19 cases in the world after the U.S. 
The World Health Organization has announced the creation of a foundation that will enable it to tap new sources of funding, including the general public. The WHO Foundation is being created as an independent grant-making entity that will support the UN agency's efforts to address the most pressing global health challenges by raising new funding from the non-traditional sources. Now, in an effort to reinforce safe and healthy practices, uh, the, in fact, uh, the popular yellow minions from the animated movie Despicable Me are spreading awareness about COVID-19. The minions are urging people to practice social distancing and to wash their hands frequently to help the fight of the spread of COVID-19. Illumination, the animation studio behind Despicable Me, has developed a public service announcement with the World Health Organization and the United Nations Foundation. While the PSA is voiced by actor Steve Carroll as Gru, it will be translated into multiple languages including Spanish, French, Portuguese and Arabic, among others. In the minute-long uh, PSA, in fact, he urges people to wash their hands regularly, keep physical distance and do fun things home, such as dancing, cooking and also remaining kind to each other. The messaging became important as the world begins to reopen amid these challenging times. You know what I mean. Yay! Hello, everybody. It's me, Gru. But you already knew that. And I've got some tips to help you get through this challenging time. First, practice physical distancing. I'm sorry, I did not see you there. I've been doing it my whole life. Or there. Plus, there are lots of things you can do at home. Like, stay active with some sick dance moves. Be daring and whip up a new dish. I love the combination of oh, gummy bears and meat. You can do video calls for all of your important meetings. What? <laughs> Sorry. Or just have some fun. Okay, not that much fun. Now, this does not come naturally to me, but try to be kind to each other. This is a tough time for everyone. So, that's it. Stay home, stay healthy, and remember, we're all in this together. What? But totally separate. You know what I mean. Moving on now, our salute is to the untiring efforts of Corona warriors and to be self-reliant, it is important to imperative to stay mentally strong apart from being physically strong. We also must stay away from rumors and only then India will win over COVID-19. Before we wrap up, we're leaving you with the song Ekla Chalo Re. जोधी तोरे डाक शुने क्यों ना आया शे तो भी एकला चलो रे जोधी तोरे डाक शुने क्यों ना आया शे तो भी एकला चलो रे एकला चलो एकला चलो एकला चलो एकला चलो रे जोधी तोरे डाक शुने क्यों ना आया शे तो भी एकला चलो रे